Hello everyone, my name is Mariam and welcome to my Inkscape and Cricut Design Space tutorials. Today we are going to learn about the spiral tool in Inkscape, one of the very cool ones. We will learn how to draw spiral controlling the parameter like the turns, the divergence and the inner radius and also how to place a text on a spiral. The spiral also can be used to design rolled flowers making the rolled flowers. So we will do it step by step next tutorial. But today is we are going to concentrate about the spiral and the text on spiral. The text on path in general, it can be used to um, place it on different shapes. You can either draw it using the Bezier tool, which we will talk about it in depth later, or you can do a freehand lines, or you can have your text placed on a specific shape you already um, downloaded from a website. If you have been following along, I normally do my page according to the cutting machine. So go to uh, document properties, which you also can um, access from file document properties. I change the format to inches and because the 12 times 12 inches um, cutting mat you can design maximum 11 and a half times 11 and a half um, the design and then you click enter access the screen or you can do it from file and document properties the same access so i love always to have that and then you click number five so then you have all um, your design filling the whole screen locking the lock pad. This is just a normal routine whenever you design in Inkscape. To do the spiral shape, you simply come on the left menu um, and you click on the spiral. And what you do, you simply left click and drag. When you do your spiral, you will find you have three parameters on the top. The first one is the turns, divergence, and inner radius. So you have two handles in the spiral to control it, the inner handle and the outer handle. When you go to the inner handle, you can simply hover on it, and then you will find the diamond becomes a red color. And then you can just drag to control the spiral from inside. When you hover on it, you will notice in the description tool, um, the description bar here, which is very important to keep an eye on, it's telling you what functions you can use. So basically, if you do hold the control key while dragging the inner handle, it will snap it with 15 degrees. If you hold Alt, it will change the divergence. So divergence actually is how the density of the spirals. So basically, number one in divergence means uniform. So the actual spirals, they have the same um, space between the spirals. If you make the divergence bigger, let's say number three, and you make the turns maybe 20, so you can see the example, you can see it's a very uh, tight inside dense and very loose outside. If you make the divergence lower than number one, let's say 0.75, then you will notice the opposite. So it is actually loose from inside, close to the center, and it's a denser from outside. So what is the inner radius? The inner radius is the distance between the X, which is the center of your spiral, and um, the inner handle of the spiral. So if I hover, on the inner radius, it changes the diamond into red color. Click and start dragging. The more I'm closer from the center, the number here will be smaller. Of course, you can change those numbers by clicking on the plus or minus. Sometimes you'll have to do it gradually. Or you can definitely backspace, type the number, and then hit enter. The number sometimes can be, um, doesn't make any sense. Like let's say if I make divergence uh, minus four, it will change it automatically to zero. It's, there is nothing called the minus four for divergence. So some numbers, um, it has a limit because according to the function of um, the parameter. So now we learned how to change the turns um, by dragging 
or to control the number from the top. I'm going to change the turns back to um, a reasonable number, let's say four, so it will be easier to place the text. When you hover on the outer handle and holding the shift key, you can scale and rotate without changing any of the numbers on the top, turns, divergence, or inner radius. If you hold the Alt key while you are dragging, then you are locking the radius. So if I hold Alt now, you will find that it starts to change its um, the turns, but the inner radius is stayed the same, the distance between the X and the inner handle. So now we are ready to place the text on my spiral. You click on the text, you start typing. What I need to do, I need to place that text on the spiral. So you select both of them. Now, because I know that there is nothing else on the screen except these two, I can press Control A and it will select both. And in the description here, it says the two objects selected on text and spiral. But if you are not sure, maybe something else hidden on your screen, you simply select the text or the spiral and then shift and then you select, um, click on the other one. You go on the top menu, click text and then put on path. This is how beautiful placing a text on the spiral shape. Now you can still edit, you can still control the spiral. So for example, if I hold now the spiral shape and try to scale it, it will make it much neater and filling more the spiral nicely. That's number one. But number two, I can double click here and can continue writing. Can't wait to see you next year. So you can um, still edit the text. Now it stopped the typing because the spiral, there is no more space. So if you want to make um, continuous typing, so you actually have to make the spiral bigger, the actual spiral shape bigger. You can do a little bit of editing here. So as you know, I only have two handles for my spiral. That's great, but I can also play with that by changing that spiral into path and then I go to say stroke to path. When you select the second option from the menu here, edit the path by nodes, you'll find the many nodes has started to be created. And what I can do, I can actually make any shape I want so actually, I'm going to remove the fill and only leave the stroke. So the fill is the color inside your shape and the stroke is the outline. By holding shift key and select any color from the color palette, and then I will do X to remove the fill. You can play with the handles just in case if you have special design or shape in mind, you don't want it neat a spiral, you can do all what you wish for by editing it. Even if there is no node and you want to move any specific area, you can actually double click anywhere creating another node and then you move your text. So here, Okay, so simply you change the shape whatever way you want. Now, remember, if I am going to delete my spiral now, the whole text will return back to straight line. Here we go. Because they are still linked together. So what you need to do, you need to separate the link first. So you go select the spiral text after you finish editing, finish everything you want to do, and they go on the top, select a path, and then union. Now, if I go to that shape, the spiral one, and delete it, nothing will be changed to your design. And at the end, you click File, and Save As, and then you select to save it, of course, in SVG format and then you can upload it on your cutting machine software like a Cricut Design Space. Now, I did the same idea as you can see in the first um, screen. I made a star, I placed the text on the star, 
um, and also I got a music um, one and to get the, something neat like this one you simply go to any of the websites you like to download from I love Pixabay and Creative Fabrica and I found those music notes from Pixabay it says here the license free to see under the Pixabay license free download select the vector graphic one download save it on your PC and then you come into your Inkscape and click File and then Import and then you choose the design you would like and then Open. Now you can also drag it instead of doing this step. I, um, they are grouped together as you can see here in the description group of five. I'm going to click Control Shift G and then I'm going to delete the rest I don't need. Actually, after placing the text on a shape, if you want to return it back to straight, there is another option to do text and remove from path, but that's before the union step. Okay, so I have my text, I have the music note, and I would like to place that text on the music note. So first, on the music note, it says fill unset, stroke unset. You hold the shift key and select any color you would like. And then I'm going to do remove the fill by hitting the X. So if I go on the text, shift hold is a new design and then text and then put on path. As you can see, it sort of went into the outline because it's like a double line. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to do control Z and I will use a busier tool to make just one single line. So I will return actually the fill again, removing the stroke. And I will draw with the busier tool. So we'll come to the busier tool here. And I will have the second one selected, create spiral path. And then I will start from the center. And then simply I am clicking, just going, tracing the shape. Well, what I'm doing, I'm just dragging and click before any curve. And once I'm happy, you click enter. And then select your tool and dragging this one out. I don't need this one anymore. Delete. This one, I'm going to remove the fill and make it just a stroke. So I will do shift and any color. And then I will do X to remove the fill. Now this is actually my new shape. Now let's place the text on that shape and we'll see how nicely it actually spiral on that. So I will select the text, select the new one we did, and then text put on path. And this is how beautiful it is to make it nice and neat. You separate it from your shape and be sure you did all what you wish to do. Let's say, for example, here there is a little bit of overlap. I can click space. So edit everything before um, the union. Okay, I'm happy with it this way. I'm going to select it and then path and union. In this case, I can remove this one with no issue. So while we are talking about spiral, I would like to mention the website um, cuttle.xyz and this design made by Clever Someday K. Hold. She is an incredible um, crafter and artist and she is very experienced with engraving as well. Um, so she made actually this design, which you can, um, I will add the link to the description of this video. In the text, you just type whatever you like, uh, or you can copy and paste. And you can change the letter spacing. So you come to that number and simply click and drag to the space you like. And for the revolution also, you can for the turns to do um, dragging to until you are happy with the um, design. From the font pick, you select any font you like, but the three at the bottom, they are single line. Each one of them has heaps of fonts. 
you select it and after you are happy you click download the SVG she has explanation also how to use this part at the very bottom and after you save it you can upload it to Cricut Design Space and when you go to Cricut Design Space basically um, the operation always it's on the basic cut and what you need to do to use a single line, it's perfect for drawing or engraving. So you click on operation, go down to pin, and then you select the color you would like to use, either um, black, fine point, whatever. The same if you prefer to do um, the engraving with this one. Now, I would like to talk about um, Clever Someday. So she is actually having her own YouTube channel. Um, clever someday she is expertise with engraving she has her own also um, facebook group it's called the cricket engraving with clever clever someday and i'm going to link for all um, those website this is an incredible group when you click on guides you will see comprehensive guides maybe it will take a year honestly to finish reading and um, getting expertise with is engraving she actually um, invented the jig method uh, which can help centering your design on your acrylic um, by using a temporary and a sensor jig um, she also has um, a photo engraving on the guide here, um, you will find the links for all the resources, all her links, her book, and uh, for um, the software which is required to do photo engraving. In um, the group, there is also the moderator, Joe Anderson. They are both incredible. Kay and Joe, I can't thank you enough for being um, so helpful everyone has gets stuck with engraving the post their project um, they help them to find the error and make the final project um, like really um, stand out and um, they are dedicating a lot from their time to help the people in the group and uh, adding guides and links and videos and sharing all their experience and all their experiments. So please um, join the group, get um, the benefit from the engraving and from their experience because they are amazing. So thank you so much for all your efforts. Um, next time, as I said, we are going to do the rolled flowers. Um, and this is so cute. I'm sure a lot of people love the rolled flowers. Please, if you like this video, like and subscribe to support the channel. And if you get any question, please let me know in the comment below. Thanks for watching.